y'all, man. We got Disney Plus Day preview. And Spider Man Noir on the way home release updates, man. And on um, Marvel Phase 5 Slack review. So, um, yeah, man. But I did hear they're going to do IMAX experience. So that's dope for the people that have got, like, you know what I'm saying? Big ass TVs, you know, down dollar TVs. You know, kind of like mine. So mine's like about a goddamn, what, five, three? I don't know. Some shit like that. But mine's like four. I think I got four K in my shit. I don't know. I did got four K in my shit. But my shit good, though. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's big enough. But yeah, but no, that's dope though. So now we can have some movie theater experience on the TV. You know what I'm saying? You know, plus make our TV, you know, worth it. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know what I'm saying? Cause why not? You feel me, man? Type shit. But um, yeah though, man. But it's crazy video, man. And um, yeah, they're gonna show everything on Disney Plus for Marvel side. I don't know about other other than that, but uh, yeah, you know, I know Marvel side. That's it. <laughs> no cat. But um, yeah, let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now while we do have some quick international updates for what's going on with Spider-Man No Way Home today, the majority of this video is going to focus on this morning's updates for the upcoming Disney Plus Day this Friday. Now last year when we had that huge Investors Day meeting in December that ended up revealing an enormous part of the Marvel Phase 4 slate. Nope. Oh yeah. Nah, they ain't gonna lie, nah, they did a lot though, that, that, they ain't gonna lie, no cap. Nobody knew it was coming. In fact, I did a video less than 72 hours before that reveal, telling everyone to temper their expectations, and if we got a couple of new trailers, we should be excited. It was way different than that. Well, now they've actually advertised that it's coming. We know the time and place they released the date and time this morning. We're gonna get into that as well as what to expect, kind of speculate a little bit, best case, worst case scenario, what we can hope for and what we know is absolutely coming. We're breaking it all down, Disney Plus and brand new updates for Spider-Man No Way Home. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 and we are almost there. 900,000 subscribers, which we could easily hit by month's end, definitely by year's end. So if you wanna be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, as far as Spider-Man No Way Home, this only pertains to international markets, three to be specific. And unfortunately for the Philippines and Japan, they won't be seeing the premiere or the actual release of the film in their country until the beginning of January. Some They said they ain't gonna see it till when? They ain't gonna see it till when, y'all? What? Stick around to the uh, end of the video. It only pertains to international markets, three to be specific, and unfortunately for the Philippines and Japan, they won't be seeing the premiere or the actual release of the film in their country until the beginning of January, somewhere around January 7th or 8th, as reported. Now, when January 8th and what? So they, so Philippines and Japan. One of the errors and shit, you know, country. I ain't gonna say that bitch to January. So I wait another two months. Hey man, hey y'all over the Philippines and Pam, man. Y'all might as well just get your get your ticket. You know, they get your ticket, your your you know what I'm saying, your plane ticket. You know what I mean, type shit. Get your plane ticket and get your ass over here to America side. You know what I mean for like little little one day. To get your ass right back to the country, you know what I mean? Type shit. You know, go go to America one time, watch it early, summer seventeen, and then yeah, and then you, you go back if you want to though, because that ain't right though. You know what I mean? I know you waited the same way we waited for a long ass time. Oh, you hear me, man? No cap. So yeah, just get your plane ticket now and go over there to America. Type shit. You know, any any city you can go to. You feel me? Just don't go to Chicago, but. Yeah, you go, you know, you go to LA, no cap. But uh, that's, that's fucked up, though. <laughs> nah, that's fucked up, man. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for fans in those countries, they have to avoid all social media, basically the entire internet, because... Yeah, that's why I said, like, because they just were Venom, too, though. Like, I, I, I was to say, like, how they, how they going to watch it now? It's like, because I heard Venom, um, movie came out for us, but over there, they still got to wait to, like, after November or some shit. It's like... And we sitting over here though, it's like they gonna see that they gonna see the YouTube videos linked out, so everything gonna be linked out for them. So it's like it's, it ain't a surprise for them. So that's why I, say, I don't know how they do that shit. I mean, I don't know. So I mean, I know Spider Man they gonna, but they gonna go, they gonna make everything out. I don't care. 
the spoilers by then, several weeks after the film's release in the rest of the world, will be basically unavoidable on any platform. That's really, really tough for their fans, but not. That's what I said. That's damn. That's tough. That's tough as hell, bro. They got. They got to suck in this much to too much. Then by this. No, I mean, no cap. Not as tough as not being able to see the movie at all, which is what's happened recently with the Eternals being banned in some countries and basically China for the entire year. As same with Venom. Venom got not banned, but they they got delayed too. A lot of different countries. No cap. Reported this morning though by Variety under the headline Spider-Man No Way Home, likely first Phase Four Marvel film to hit China. A major win for their fans. And while superhero movies from our part of the world aren't always an immediate and a major hit in China the way they are in some other parts of the world, I would argue Spider-Man is a transcendent icon. On, even in the Marvel world much much more popular than say the rest of the catalog especially recently and so this is a huge win for Marvel Studios and Sony and the box office take being able to include the Chinese market in that I'm, I'm sure that this is a win-win for everybody especially the fans in those countries who want to see Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, speaking of Disney and Marvel Studios, this upcoming Friday is their Disney Plus Day. And as I mentioned in the prologue, where last year we didn't know what was coming, we had industry insiders telling us to be very wary. Remember, guys, this was at the end of last year, 2020, where everything had been shut down for COVID. We weren't expecting... Oh, yeah, true that. Everything, but they shut everything down. Okay. Too much. Well, we got an official release from Disney this morning, when to be ready on Friday, and this is what's going down. Quote, and this is according to directly the release. I'm just reading from... From. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's go. Hey, they get it. Relay the text here. They do. On Friday, November 12th they get it. at nah, 6 a.m. Pacific time, fans can follow along with at Disney Plus. Hey, what you want on for oh, okay. On Twitter, Play Facebook, on. Pacific time, fans can follow along next year. On Friday, November 12th at okay. 6 a.m. Pacific time, fans can follow along with at Disney Plus on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for first looks. New trailer. So we so we do it. So we just getting new trailers, and it says exclusive clips. I bet it's gonna be lit Friday though. I can't wait. So it's gonna be just like um, like we did. You know what I'm saying? Like we did with um, with um, you know, fandom. You know what I'm saying? We just dropping the trailers. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. It's gonna drop a hell of trailers with y'all. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be lit. New trailer, new clips. Bet. Let's go. <laughs> exclusive clips and appearances from Disney Plus creators and stars for the upcoming content from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. Now I'm looking for Marvel. Now some people might look for Disney, Pixar, you know what I'm saying? Well, Disney might have something too. I, I, I think I might, might fuck with Pixar too though. Star Wars, you know, if you're a fan of Star Wars, you might like Star Wars. Now, I don't know who like Nancy Gra um, Graf Graffy, yeah, that type shit. But um, yes, people like this too. Now people, both done, people really aim for Marvels and Star Wars. So those are like the two main topics right now: Star Wars and Marvel. But then people might go with the main core: Disney, Pixar, and then National and shit. But the main two right here is Marvels and Star Wars. No cap. Real National shit. Geographic and in select Type international shit. territories, Star. Disney Plus subscribers will also be treated to an exclusive on-platform specials from Pixar Animation Studios premiering at. Eight. Oh, okay. The subscribers. What do you mean by subscribers? Cause you know I'm subscribed to it. Like what do you mean by subscribers? Then plus subscribers. What do you mean by that dude? 8 a.m. Pacific. Like people sign up to the bitch. Pacific time and from Marvel Studios premiering at 8:45 a.m. Pacific time and other surprise sneak peeks. Additional new and beloved fan favorite content will be their Disney Plus streaming debuts on November 12th, including a new documentary titled The Making of Happier, Marvel Assembled. The Making of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, a docu-special chronicling the creation of the recent Marvel Studios theatrical release. Oh, yeah, I heard they're gonna make, they gonna, uh, I heard Shang-Chi gonna be on Disney Plus, though. They do it all, shit. We got that bitch for free, no cap. Marvel Studios Legends it Hawkeye, is, an episodic that reveals all of Hawkeye's epic moments from the MCU in preparation for the upcoming Disney Plus original series, then some stuff from Enchanted and some other stuff they're including for Disney Plus. So we're gonna get a look at Shang-Chi behind the scenes, the making of, we'll get a look at the Legends release for Hawkeye. We'll also have Marvel Studios on platform exclusives starting at 8.45 a.m. So if you have Disney Plus, you'll be able to log in 8.45 a.m. It'll be on platform. But before that, at 6 a.m. Pacific time, so if you're Eastern, then 
change is constant. Oh. The deaf people have a change. It's 9 a.m. You go ahead and follow for the stream on their social media platforms. We'll get new looks and trailers there as well. And where it looked like last year they saved Marvel Studios for the end, you saw it listed there in the middle of what's going on. So they could be mixing it in. We'll get new looks for everything. And this is where it gets kind of fun because what is the everything that you can actually expect from Disney Plus coming up on this Friday? Well, quite a bit. We know that there are several Disney Plus TV shows that have been in production for a while. And while we're going to play the fun game of what new may be coming. Yeah, I don't know what's, what's coming. I mean, we got, well, okay, no, I'm not I'm about to say, oh, God, we already got that bitch coming out. So um, we got, um, goddamn, we got um, Marvel, Miss Marvels, her able to come out. We got She-Hulk. Um, we got goddamn, I don't know, we got a lot, though. We got a lot of shit, though. I don't know if they're going to show, though. Cause they show some name on that means I'm done with that bitch though. So yeah, but I'm now I'm down for it, man. I'm down. Man. Start with what we know is coming. We're probably gonna get a first look and a trailer for Moon Knight and She Hulk. They've been in. Uh, I thought we missed my oh Moon Knight. I I, I heard about this shit. Yeah. yeah, I heard about Moon Knight. In production for quite a while now, and we expect them to be two of the first shows that get released next yeah, year. Yeah, because once they show them, what that means they almost done with that bitch. You know what I mean? If they ain't show it yet, they ain't done with that, that movie yet. They still, you know, working on this shit. Here, alongside Miss Marvel, which they were ready yeah, to hype all the way last year, and the rumor was was delayed from release this year because of what's going on with post production and special effects. Speaking of which, we heard just about a month ago with Eternals release, literally the same week the premiere was going on, that they were moving movies back on the slate. It's just because there are so much special effects, interweaving of storylines, characters having to show up, cameos, moving parts. It's actually crazy they can put out this much content. So we expect a trailer for She-Hulk, a trailer for Miss Marvel, a trailer for Moon Knight, almost absolutely. Now, if we can sort of speculate and get a little excited, maybe a trailer of some kind for Secret Invasion, but there are a lot of productions that have just started for Marvel Studios, which means there's probably not going to be any trailer footage available for them. They may talk about them. Now, speaking of which, if they decide to go with the film updates the way they did last year, and I would suspect that's probably going to be for the on-platform releases, Black Panther has been something that's been in production for quite a while. Even though the update recently was they had to suspend production, there was some filming done. Again, a lot of the films like Thor, Love and Thunder, it's hard to tell just how much filming's done and if they would be ready for a trailer, but keep in mind, sure these that. are films that are right around the corner as well. They did just start filming on Guardians of the Galaxy. That was confirmed by James Gunn, but we're talking about days ago, so there isn't... You know, let me talk about, like, they've been doing this shit. I mean, they, you know, it's, and it's still, you know what I mean, so... Any footage or yeah. updates for that. More likely the films that are coming soon, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I don't think about, no, they, they, that's not Disney Plus though. I'll buy the Doctor Strange, that ain't Disney Plus though. Thor, Love and Thunder, and Wakanda Forever. Now, as far as new film announcements, new show announcements, there are several we've been reporting on for a while, like an Echo TV show we expect will be announced coming up very soon here on Disney Plus or sometime behind that. But as far as films, there is one in particular that everybody is super hyped for, one that the casting has been probably enumerated by more concept art than any other in the history of the MCU. And I'm, of course, talking what? about the Fantastic Four where the updates from industry inside oh nah they ain't gonna do that that's, that's too early man that's, that's that's way too early that's way way that's way too early Insiders remain cryptic remain small but we know of all of the unreleased dates that they've confirmed for 2023 and 2024 one of them is indeed the fantastic four and while there's no filming that's been going on at all man a casting announcement would just be that would be good to do a cast announcement but I say it's too early still, though. I don't know. So good to cap off the too early, you know what I mean? Disney too early, I don't know. No. I know I this is dream territory. Please do not get your hopes up based on what I'm saying. No, nah, I'm not, though. I'm not. But I mean, I say it's too early, though. But that is me. You know what I mean? Type shit. But yeah. Me. thing here this is literally just motivated from strictly like hey dream scenario i said during the prologue best case worst case i kept it real when i told you what we're definitely getting but man if a boy can dream could they oh man that would be so nuts fantastic Four, let's go <laughs> and it's right around the corner
Here, guys, it really is. The the time is flying by, literally peeling off the count. Yeah, it's this it's this Friday too, though. So Here with all this Marvel, I got a couple of days. Marvel content, a ton of stuff around the corner. Blade. Uh, huge updates I'm expecting for a lot of them and new announcements but let me know down in the comments um, before we get into complete speculative territory perhaps in a video later this week maybe on Thursday what would you want to see announced what are you hyped for stuff like okay, I might have everything it's Marvel if Marvel got to do something with it I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for everything though, man so I don't know what it's going to be man but it, it, it should be good though it's Marvel so yeah like Nova stuff like Young Avengers stuff like Avengers 5 if you could get a dream announcement what do you think it's going to be I know I know the number one comment is going to be that World War Hulk thing that we just reported on literally last week but guys again that is so so early in the bag for Marvel Studios so far down the line don't get your Yeah that, that 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 hog going to be a uh, a long time that secret war <laughs> no and really time, not, not even fantastic for it but let me know all your thoughts down below quickly let's jump into the giveaway stuff still yeah that world hot man that, that hot movie solo movie gonna be that for that's that's that ain't come out for a minute though but um yeah though man hey, leave a like to my channel man and um let me know what y'all think about the, um the spider-man i'm not saying i said spider-man no home let me know what y'all think about the Disney Plus thing, man. Preview on the Friday, man. Let me know in the comment down below. So when we subscribe to it, then we get uh, like a little sneak peek. And regular people, I ain't gonna say regular people, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like people didn't sign up yet. They gonna watch it on the stream. I mean, it's both ways though. We watch it both ways though. It's type shit. But um, yeah though, man. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a good Friday though. Good Friday. You know what I'm saying though. But um, yeah. But hey, leave a like to my channel. Um, yeah. I'm alright. Peace.